Welcome to Player's Choice. I'm Scoot Herring. Today we're playing Contra for the NES. I would show you the game here in my hands, but as you know, NESs are fickle beasts and you can't even touch them when they're on or they'll just explode. Uh, it's in the system right now and it's going, so we'll just leave it. Nobody breathe. Um, my guest today is great. I love this guy. He's a great comedian. It's Mike Kaplan, everyone. Thank you. Thank you uh, for loving me. Yeah, I do love you. <laughs> I like. I like the way you. I don't. I don't think you intended this tone at all. I don't. I don't even know if you used this tone. But it, like, this guy is great. I love him. I love, I love him. him. Yeah. yeah. Guys, <laughs> I don't know about you. You might not know him. You might not love. Look. Look. I, I can't tell you about you. I'm telling you about me. Yeah. Yeah. Me personally, yeah. I like him. Thank I know you. he's got a bad rep or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. He uh, rubs a lot of people the wrong way. Yeah. Totally. But not me. But he rubs some people the right way. And yes. That's what I choose to focus on. <laughs> Uh, he's got a new special coming out on Netflix here very soon. Yeah. Uh, it's called Small Dork and Handsome. Did That's I get true. that right? You awesome. got it. And it'll be downloadable as an audio album mm -hmm. as well. And his podcast, Hang Out With Me. Thanks. Good. Thank uh, you, yeah. Check that out if you Please. don't already know. Do but uh, let's, play, uh, let's play Contra. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, we've already got it fired up. Should I hit start? Is yeah, you're, you're, you're the start man. Here we uh, go. All right. Now, why did you pick this game? Uh, I just, uh, of the list of things, all right, sorry. Just got a you do thing it. to shoot people with. Um, I remember, I didn't own this game, but I remember playing it so much, so I feel like I had friends that had it, so it's like a, I would never play this alone. Right. I, it's just such a, and also I'd never play it without having whatever, you know, ridiculous number of lives that you... 30, you, yeah. Like, I can't, I'm sure, was this in the, in the arcade at all? It was, know? it was a, they'd have like NES cabinets and they'd have this in the arcade and because it was okay, but they didn't have like a specific arcade version of it. It must have been just to like make a ton of money. Yeah. Just we, to kill you over and over again. Like at at Bridgetown this weekend, they had a you know a free free gameplay at uh, Ground, Ground Control. Control, and so I they played. Sponsor us. Oh, that's very nice. I'm <laughs> glad that I'm glad it's not you're not sponsored by the other full time arcade <laughs> bar restaurant in town. Right. Yeah. Well, it is Portland. That that just seems like Could something we be. would have. Oh yeah, but uh, like so while I was there, you know they they're free gameplay for like three hours. So I played like Sunset Riders. Mm hmm. And uh, and that's great, but if I played it like for real, it would have cost a thousand dollars. Yeah, they designed those games just to take your quarters. Like uh, you know the X Men arcade game. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one I remember could never beat as a kid. Always played it, and then when I went to Ground Control on free play night, I finally beat it. Found out there's only like four levels. Oh yeah. You know, I was always super close to beating it, but ended up spending like twenty five dollars. Well, congratulations! Yeah, I on did eventually it. learning. That you were a sucker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so like this game, same thing. Like you know, you have it. Some of my friends had it, and ah, uh, uh, oh no, that was you. Good. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I was like, I didn't think that happened to me. You always have to do the cheat, and this is the game that kind of immortalized the yeah. Konami code: the up, up, down, down, left, right, B, A, select, start. Yeah, we all want. Oh no, we all want immortal life. You know, eternal. Mm hmm. Immortal life, eternal life, yeah, you know the thing. I think it gives the game a little bit more, like a like a little more oomph in the story because uh, you're just two buff dudes, when not wearing shirts, wearing bright red and blue pants, running through jungles, murdering people. Yeah, you know. I mean, yeah. So that sort of reminds me of my childhood, uh, for that reason. And uh, no, I, I, it's just such a. I didn't. I, I'm an only child, and so I, I didn't have. I think I had a Nintendo, but mm -hmm. I, like I said, I don't think I had this game. But it should, it should be like a. I really think of friendship when I think of this game a lot. It know? is, yeah. I do remember me playing it alone, like I was playing it before you got here just to kind of like warm up, yeah. uh, and that was probably the first time I've ever just played it alone, and it, it was such a weird, empty feeling. Like, yeah. There needs to be somebody here. It sounds really sad. Yeah. Thank you. That's, yeah. That's how I live my life. Yeah, I know. I get you. You should get that. I already have one. Yeah. I, I was, I was, I was we're greedy. We're flamethrowing it up. Yeah. All the... They're all the lame ones. The laser. Look at this. This is the laser. Oh, sorry weakest. If I did that to no, you. screen killing. Yeah. It's just part of the game. Laser. Yeah, laser is my least favorite. It's oh, useless. Me. Yeah. Spread shot is the only thing you want in these games. I like the the meter. The the meteor. Mm, that it? was good. Yeah. Is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, meteor. Or no, it's just machine gun. Machine. Is it M? Is it, yeah, M. I don't know yeah. why. I think you it's know, just me meteor gun. Meteor gun. Those yeah. are widely used. Exactly. Here we go. Okay. I think our army oh, uses meteor guns there. these days. That's good. Um, what is R? I always forget about R that. is rapid shot, I believe. So, yeah, sure. like, machine gun makes the bullets big, big and then R, uh, you can just hold the button down. Yep. Here we go. Okay. We gotcha. Yeah. This is the, the only game that I can think of where you shoot shit that, like, lasers are terrible. Yeah, lasers are, like, the fastest. They would be a pretty good weapon. In... You'd want a laser in real life, I think. Well, not really, because lasers aren't really... 
they're not weapons. They're yeah, just like... well, if you want to get like you know eye surgery or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're doing. When we get the laser in this game, we're just fixing all those soldiers' eyes. Yeah, and then we can see them better. Yeah, and they're like, I can see, it. and then they just come to the re realization that they should just die. I really like the 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 whole idea behind this game. They're like aliens have invaded. Is that I didn't even know. Yeah, so it's aliens. Okay. That's what we're fighting, and That's... then they're like, let's just send. Which I do like. Two dudes. Oh yeah. This will be the world's Independence Day. I'm yeah. a big fan. Uniting the planet. Yeah, they're like, maybe we should equip them with the highest technology. No, okay, no shirts, no defensive anything. No shirts, a little more, you know, aerodynamic than shirts, too, right? If you, if you think about it. Bandanas. And uh, they do every once in a while send us, you know, those. Oh, come on. Yeah, they're like, here, here's new weapons. Yeah, but if weird, you, weirdly delivered. We're gonna send you this awful laser that can't do anything. Look. And then I was like, who are these guys, though? The, there's aliens, but then there's these dudes who are, like, trying to stop us from killing the aliens. Oh, yeah. Well, are they not aliens? Are they... they? Oh. Maybe they're robots. They do explode when we kill them. That's true. Oh, come on, me. Get it together. Although it was on the NES, so it was generally a time when story was kind of not really that important. So it was just like, no, you're just dudes shooting stuff. Why, why do you need more than that? Damn. Gonna be just silent. Oh nope, I died. I'm done. Okay. I failed you, Mike. More questions. Oh, more questions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you do you play a lot of games these days? Not. I mean, like I have like you know a game or two on my phone, but I, the, one of the reasons why I don't own a system is because I know that I would. I mean, I feel like I would use it too much. You know, right. like I would do it all the time. Oh. Eh, eh, eh. Ah. Oh, is this invincible now? Am I? Oh, yeah, I, yeah. You're invincible okay, for a while good. there. Uh, like, I had a, a roommate once who had, like, Red Dead Redemption, and I played that for a little while, and, like, I, so I definitely am not up on most modern games. I, I was talking on my podcast at one point about this sort of thing, and I'm not, like, disparaging of other, like, you know, I certainly know there are games that are worthwhile. Yeah. And, uh, engage, and, but I, you know, not that I think of it as a waste of time, but I'm like, I don't want to spend most of my time playing video games. I do spend a lot of my time like watching uh, TV shows like yeah, on my yeah. computer or whatnot. Um, I just marathon True Detective. It's oh, nuts. great! Yeah, you're doing the right thing. Well, uh, you, if I don't go to bed and I just sit uh, there and watch Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, that guy knows what he's doing. Act his balls off. Um, but so yeah, I feel like I like playing with like this is fun. It's playing like with people is mm -hmm. the way to do it. Oh, okay, hold. I think that's yeah. got. I, I feel like that's been lost a lot though in the newer generations. Is that well, I mean, it's it's more like, like internet with people, but yeah, farther up. Okay, and it's just a bunch of like twelve year olds telling each other how gay they think each other are using the n word. Yeah, and... like using words they don't understand and just being awful human beings right away. No, but back when this was out, like you had yeah, you had to go over to your buddy's house. Yeah, and you would just sit there and try and beat it for hours or only an hour since that's yeah. all I was allowed to play ever. Uh. I always have this idea that I was really good at games when I was a kid, and that I I beat all these games. Ha. But oh. then I remember that I was only ever to only allowed to play for an hour all at a right. time. So how did I ever beat anything? I I remember like my parents like I had, you know computer games more as, as well you know like like Jump Joe or Hard Hat <laughs> Mac or those things that you guys have ever heard the words. I, I think I've heard of Jump Joe. Uh, and like I so I feel like when you know my. When I was born, my parents didn't have a computer, right? Mm -hmm. That's, it was like 1978 is when I was born. It wasn't like it, but that's what it was. It was just like it. There was the, what was the one before the Commodore 64 was uh, the VIC-20? Didn't have that. Had, okay. the, had the Commodore 64. Had like Qbert on the Commodore 64. That was the first video game that I had. But then, yeah, it had these like just computer games. So my mom and people were like, oh, you're so good with computers. <laughs> Like, when, like, computers started being, like, a thing that people got, like, you know, good jobs. Yeah, yeah. They are like, oh, why don't you use your computer skills? I'm like, oh, to play q games that I was good at when I was, I'm yeah. good at word processing now. Yeah, I don't think that q translates into real-world skills at any point. I mean, you know, mountain climbing via Sherpa. True, or... true. Uh, geometry. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, Colors. Unclear. Translating widgets. Widgets? Wingdings? I don't know, because the Cuberts, they talk on those words. Oh, yeah. yeah. That sounds right. <laughs> Learning a new language? I don't know. 
I always forget this infinite number of bullets, so that's another thing they equipped these soldiers with. So, like, somehow you have infinite bullets. Some sort of fusion, mm -hmm. you know, fission, whatever they... Yeah, yeah, right. Maybe that was part of it. They were like, all right, listen, here's the trade-off. You can have uh -oh. infinite bullets, but you can't wear a shirt. Ha! Those are the choices. Those are the choices. You can either wear some sort of body armor and, like, be protected, or ah. you can have infinite bullets. Okay. Oh, that's it. I remember that door. Well, you're done. <laughs> it happened. What can we say about Contra, Mike? Uh, you know, it's just like life. Like, you try to extend it as much as you can, but ultimately the aliens will murder you. True. So, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for... Uh, what I mean. Is there any stuff you'd like to plug before you leave? I mean, you already graciously let people know that as of May 2014, Small Dork and Handsome will be available on Netflix and iTunes Check it out. and such. And MikeKaplan.com, M-Y-Q-K-A-P-L-A-N.com. And it, we put it Mike Kaplan into anywhere and you'll get my, you know, albums, YouTube, Facebook, mm -hmm. Vines, and my podcast is at KeithandTheGirl.com slash hang. There you do it. Called. Check it out, everybody. Uh, also, Ground Control is our sponsor, and they graciously provided you with a t-shirt. Oh! So take that bad boy that's Thank yours. Thank you. Thank you, Ground Sorry Control. Sorry voice. <laughs> and, uh, it's the only range I have right now. Oh! Yeah. That's how we'll end it. Thank you, everyone.